I'm going to show you how you can edit your photos in Photopea, the editing app. It's super, super similar to Photoshop since a lot of you did not have access to that. Uh, we are just going to be using Photopea to edit our photos, which Photopea up here at the top, it's just a website that you'll go to. And this is the welcome page, um, exactly as you will see it when you get to this page. Now, you should have all of your ABC name photos done and taken and ideally accessible on a desktop for you to just pull them in uh, just because it can be a little difficult trying to find them in either your SD cards or getting them from your phone to your laptop or computer. Just easier to have them all ready to go once you are good. So what we are going to do is open from our computer and mine automatically syncs to my ABC name photos. I've already done one of my letters, but now I'm ready to do my second letter in my name, which is an A for Bailey. Uh, so I'm going to open the image and it will take a minute to load and then it will bring it up. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure this is a high resolution photo, which means we have a lot of capability with the pixels and it's um, a bigger file format instead of small and pixelated and we can't do a lot with. So what we're going to do is go up to the top here where it says file, edit, and then we're gonna find image and drop down to image size and it should be clicked right here for resample. Make sure it is unclicked right there. And then we are adjusting the DPI, which is the dots per inch, which is its knockoff for Photoshop's pixels per inch. We're going to delete this and type in 300 is a good dots per inch or pixels per inch for us. And then click OK. And nothing really changes other than when we zoom in, we have a lot more capability. But we are going to crop, adjust, and then blur anything that might take away from this image. Like for my image right here, um, these pieces on the left and right side take away from the easel of my A that I wanted to read as an A. So to do that, we are going to do the crop and it brings up this plus sign on your image right here. And then I can use these lines as a view finder, a view piece to decide what I want in my image, what I don't want. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it as close to my easel as possible without cutting into the easel. Um, I'm trying to avoid that electrical outlet but I think I'm just gonna have to deal with it now and once you are happy with this we are going to click this check mark up at the top now if for any reason you aren't happy with it you would click this X and nothing that you have done right here will apply but to apply this image I'm going to click right here now, if for any reason your image is um, the wrong direction, then up here at the top, there's this um, our arrow and the plus sign. And if you click on that, it's gonna give us this capability to, capability to adjust our image where the arrow is now rounded and I can adjust as needed. Um, this should be done first if you do need to adjust your image. Um, for me, I cut off a little bit. Ooh, and I'm kind of shortening mine right there. But that I'm happy with. I don't need to adjust, so I'm all good, and I'm going to accept that. Okay, so a couple of things, or one thing in this photo particularly that's kind of driving me insane is this electrical outlet right here that's taking away from my easel. So I want to blur that out. I mentioned in our compositional uh, presentation that getting rid of distracting stuff can help simplify the image and really make it easy to figure out what the subject is. 
So over in our tools on this left hand side, if you hover over the tools, it will tell you what the tool does. We are going to find this blur tool. And anytime a tool has this tiny little triangle, it means there's other tools within the tool. So if you double click on that, it opens it up. But we're gonna use the blur tool. And up here at the top underneath our words, if you click this circle, this is telling us one, our size of our tool. And if you can see, if I increase it, the size of my tool increases as well. And then the hardness is what it will do, how much it will impact your photo. And then these tools down here are different applications that you can make. Some of them are textured, some are um, kind of gradient out, depending on what we are wanting and needing. I'm just gonna go for the normal tool and I don't want it to be huge, but I want it to be enough to cover. And I do want my hardness up all the way so it really affects it. And then if I start going over top of the things that I wanna get rid of, it's starting to blur that electrical outlet. And every time I release this tool, it's coming up into my history. If for any reason you don't like what you've done, you can do file, uh, where are you at? Edit undo, excuse me. Um, it doesn't have the command, or it does have the commands right here, depending on if you're working on a Mac or a PC, it'll be a little bit of a different, but you can go step backward, control Z, just like Photoshop, uh, depending on what you want. But once you get done with that, you want to crop, adjust, and then blur anything that might take away from your letter. Get rid of it. And then when you're done, you will do File, Export As, and we want this as a JPEG. So you'll do it as a JPEG. Format JPEGs telling you the size right here. Pretty, pretty big. And save.